Hi, it's Molly Feeney with Just Pause Training. Welcome back to Just Pause TV. We are on our third piece of our crate training. We're talking about travel crates. So Minnie is a uh, bit of a world traveler, or will be in her in her older years. So we are getting her used to something. This is called a sturdy product. Um, it's a great little travel crate. Um, so I just want to show you the length. It's flexible, it's got netting on the top, it's got a zipper on the top, it's got storage in the back, and it has a window in the back. So don't try to think that you can use this as an everyday crate, because this is netting, and I can just see her like scratching and trying to get through this. So first things, and um, just like in the crate world, I want to get her used to this. So I'm going to take her new little things. These are her favorite new squeakies, and I'm just going to play a little game of fetch with her. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, fetch it up. So, again, I just want her to go in and out. Wow, she's really good at this, huh? Good job, Minnie. Get in your house. So, you can say, let's go kennel up, so she knows you're going to move and go someplace with this. But right now, I just want to have fun with this. Again, feed her in there. Put her in there. When you're ready to zip it up, make sure that you have something that she can sit and chew in there. So, Minnie! your favorites we have a chew stick oh, what's this we have a little rubber toy that's filled with liver in there let's put that in the back I'm now because I practiced with her for so many days I'm just gonna zip up two sides love this little zip thing and now I'm gonna talk to her through the top so hi Minnie hi <laughs> oh Minnie you popped through so everybody can see you say hello so um, we did make sure that some of the airlines did approve this as something that you can put right underneath your feet. So make sure that you check with your airlines and you don't just show up. So this is a great size, um, but each airline is very specific, so call and beware and make sure you find out what's the appropriate size for them. So even when we watched TV last night, um, oh, mini, mini, good job, she's all amped up tonight, is what I did was I had her in here and then I'm just giving her a little attention. Good job. I'm going to toss a couple treats. This is very similar to the crate, the hard crate that I have next to her. Give her a couple little things to do. Calm her down. Make sure that you practice picking it up, moving it around, because that's a whole other thing. As soon as you start to move, this has a shoulder. Oh, look at that little mini. Now I'm still able to reach in and pet her. Oh, that was nice. Such good licking. Very good. I'm going to put another one of her little favorite toys in there. Good job. Move it around. Now this is something that I can go sit on the sofa with and have her in. Um, and what I found was... Oh, oh, oh. Sh -sh 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 -sh. Settle down. Settle down. So I never want to open the door when she's scratching to get out. I want to calm her down, talk her through it. Good job, Mimi. Good settle. Good. Slowly unzip. There we go. Good job. I found that she likes to lay on this little mesh part. So we've worked on this for at least four days, and we are having great success. This is our fourth day on this. And I really enjoy just kind of having her in here and putting her wherever I go. I went to the store the other day, put her on my shoulder, walked through Walgreens. Nobody really knew what was going on or what I had in here because I also had a flap that I could close it up because there's enough breathing area on the top. But just like you have to get used to, to the crate when you leave, you have to get used to it when you travel in the car. Um, you have to make sure that they are comfortable when you get in a plane, a train, automobile, whatever, however you're going to travel. Don't you just assume that you're going to put them in there and zip and they're going to be fine. They're going to screech. It's, things are going to change as soon as you change what area you're in. So again, take the time with this. There's many different products out there that are their travel um, approved for the airlines. But this is the one that I would use only if you're going to be with your puppy. This is not something that goes under in the cargo. That is, that is something completely different. That is a harder crate. So just take your time with this, and if you find that they're chewing on it, don't zip them up. Let them get used to it. Take the time at least two weeks before you're going to get on a plane or a car or a train and travel with them. So um, thank you for, again for tuning in. I'm sure a lot of you have a lot of questions. You've gotten different information. So I would like you to ask me a question if you can. There's a little area below. You can either email me or shout out and say, I have a question, blah, 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 blah. And then I'm able to field that question for you. And maybe somebody else has the same question. So thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you out there with more tips and training with Just Pause TV.